Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to run stable diffusion on your Android phone. If you are using PC to watch the video, I also have a tutorial using PC to set up stable diffusion. Please check the information in the right top card. So, back to the tutorial. All you need is two different browsers, network connection and a Google account only. So let's start. First of all, launch one of the browsers. Go to Google and sign in. If you don't have an account we can just press the create account button. After we finish setting up our Google account, we search stable diffusion collab GitHub Kamanduru in the search bar, and we should find one with the keywords GitHub. Kamanduru. I would paste the keywords and link below if you can't find it. We scroll down and we can see there are many different versions and models of the stable diffusion. Let's click on the first one, stable diffusion 1.4. This time we are using the light version. It should bring you to the Google Collab page. So this code on the page is for running stable diffusion in Google Collab environment, just click on the right hand side connect button, and it should be connecting in a few seconds. When it says it's connected, click the top left to call the menu. And click on the show file browser. It should appear four icons and a folder. We can click on the third item, which is the option mount drive. It should add a code below the stable diffusion code. We can press the arrow pointing upward, and it will go to the top of the page. We can now run the code. The mount drive option gives a permission to stable diffusion to access to your Google Drive and save the photos generated. Simply click agree to all, and we can run the second code, which is the stable diffusion code. While it's loading, let me explain the Google Collab platform we are using. Google Collab is a cloud based platform which allows you to run Jupyter Notebook online. To explain it simpler, Google created a small virtual computer in their huge server and borrowed it to you which you can use their CPU and GPU to do the stuff that you want. But every time when the session ends, Google will delete all the data. So next time when we want to use it again, we need to set up the service again. That's why we need to mount the content to the drive. We need to save our generated photos into Google Drive so we can keep it forever. Also the reason for having two browsers is because Android would freeze the website once we open a new tab or another application. Stable Diffusion runs on the Google Collab website, so we need to stay connected to the network so Google will not think we are already disconnected and end our section. When the Collab page finished setting up the Stable Diffusion, there would be two to three websites with the word public on the start. We can copy one of the websites and use the split screen function in Android to open the two browsers together. One on the top and one in the bottom, and paste the link into the second browser. As we can see, we successfully opened the interface of the stable diffusion. The prompts column is for typing prompts that we want stable diffusion to generate. Let's say we want some paintings, we simply type and press generate. Wow, what a nice photo of paintings generated. For now Stable Diffusion would not save our photo generated into Google Drive. All we need to do is go back to the Collab State Diffusion page. And press the top left and call out the menu again. Select the Show File Browser again. And this time we click Drive. My Drive. And we can simply create a folder called. A I and and we can choose the three dots on the right hand side of the folder created. And select Copy Path. Then we go back to the Stable Diffusion page. And go to Settings. On the left hand side there is one called path for saving. So we simply paste the copied path in every column that has the words in it and add a slash after it for every column. After we finish, go back to the top. And select apply settings. And then everything will be done. Now we can try to generate another photo again. And this time we go to Google Drive and check whether the photo is saved on the drive or not. So we head back to the drive and select the folder that we created just now. And we go into it and we can find the photo saved in the Google Drive. So let's try Stable Diffusion in your Android phone from now on and start your journey of generating photos. If you find this video helps you, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, give a like, and leave your comment of how you find Stable Diffusion goes. We would have more tutorials about more interesting stuff and tell you soon. Bye bye.